Here at Santos, all that and much more as Quick Pitch presented by DraftKings Sportsbook starts now. Freddie Mercury and David Bowie know all about being under pressure, a song they apparently wrote while drinking heavily. And Barry Bonds knows the pressure of sending number 61 out of the park. He's one of the few players who can actually relate to what Aaron Judge is currently feeling at the moment. The Yankee slugger had gone 26 plate appearances since belting his 60th last Tuesday, though he's reached safely in 13 of those appearances to extend his on-base streak to 25 straight games. All eyes are on Judge as the pressure was pushing down on him. As for his team, they would take a load off with a win to clinch the division. Corey Kluber already got his video tribute last year when he returned to Progressive Field for the first time as a member of the Yankees, but he didn't pitch in that series. This time around, the former Cleveland ace will face his old team for the first time back in the land. While the hugs and handshakes were likely to happen, the two-time Cy Young Award winner needed to put the pleasantries aside and get down to business as the Rays entered the matchup with the AL Central champs just a half game ahead of the Mariners in the wild card race. Back in 2011, girls were wearing jeans so low, bending over became a questionable task. I know I struggled with it. Fast forward a decade, the low-rise fit is back. Trends come and go, but some things and stars never burn out. Rihanna, for example, is still on top. 11 years ago, she dropped What's My Name. And Riri is slated to do the halftime show at the Super Bowl this year. And staying power has been everything for players like Albert Pujols and Yadier Molina. In 2011, they led the Cardinals to a championship. And on Tuesday, St. Louis was on the verge of clinching the NL Central crown with a win in Milwaukee. And Luke Weaver booted from the game on Sunday. And while Ray may have won the battle, the Mariners lost the war, giving up a nine-run lead to the Royals, which thinned the cushion in the AL wildcard race. Seattle only secured three victories on their 10-game road trip, all against non-playoff teams. Reinforcements have been deployed to the battalion, though, as Julio Rodriguez is expected to be back on Monday, and Eugenio Suarez returned to the lineup on Tuesday night. They entered their series with the Rangers with a three-and-a-half game lead over the Orioles for the third and final wildcard spot, and the M sent Ray to the mound and looked once again to be the last one standing. Park his rover for the remainder of the 2022 regular season. The next time he could potentially dust it off wouldn't be until well into the postseason on October 14th. That's assuming the Phillies end the longest playoff drought in the National League. And if it's going to happen, the Phillies are going to have to do it away from the city of brotherly love. For the first time since 1967, Philadelphia is finishing up the season with a 10-game road trip. The first stop is in Chicago, then they're on to D.C. and Houston figures in Chicago, but very few rival the nun that stole the nation's heart back in 2018. Yeah, Sister Jean was back at Wrigley Field to throw out the first pitch. The Loyola chaplain displayed a fierce windup and sailed one to Clark, who was ready to handle that heat. By the way, Sister Jean is now 103 years old, which means she is nine years younger than this tradition of the ceremonial first pitch, which was started back in 1910. Just goes to show you, AJ nothing but a number. That's all we got on Quick Pitch on Sierra Santos. Until next time, take it easy. Nos vemos.